to all my dear students hope you are enjoying well at your home children uh, in our previous video we have started our chapter number 6 that is introduction to paint okay now in this chapter i'll be continuing with this chapter only and we'll cover the rest of the topics okay but before starting with the rest of the topic let us take a quick re review of what we have learned in our previous video okay? paint okay that paint is a software which is used to do drawings in computer okay which help us to do drawings in our computer okay children now this paint video has three parts how many parts three parts drawing area tools and shapes box color box next we have studied that few tools are present on the tool box okay so these are the tools we have studied uh, in our previous video okay i told you no eraser tool It's used to erase or a uh, uh, whole part of a uh, drawing okay next is pencil tool okay pencil tool is used to do freehand drawing in your computer okay magnifier tool it magnifies it enlarges the picture okay next fill with color tool this tool help us to fill colors in our drawing okay the picker tool okay this uh, tool help us uh, to pick any color from the drawing and use it on the other drawing okay next is text tool this tool help us to write on the drawing area okay uh, with the help of this text tool we can uh, write any we can give caption to our drawing okay we can uh, put heading on our drawing so text tool is used for this purpose now we will be continuing with the next topic that is shapes tool and we will learn some shapes given in your book so children let us begin with the practical okay in my previous video i uh, showed you that how you can open paint in computer screen okay the first method is to click on start button and to click on paint icon and the second method is that to click on the shortcut icon which is present on the computer screen okay so i am uh, on the desktop so i am clicking on it double click on it see this is the paint window the paint window opens now this is this white screen is the drawing area this is the tools and shape box and this is the color box these are the three main parts of a paint window okay now children today i'll show you how you can draw different types of shapes on the drawing area okay so the first type of shape is line tool okay the first tool of shape box is line tool now how you can uh, why do we use this line tool if you want to draw any straight line on the computer on the drawing area then we use the line tool okay now i'll show you how you can do it just bring your mouse pointer on that uh, line tool okay this is the line tool now click on it now bring the mouse pointer on the drawing uh, area now what you have to do you have to press the left key and drag the mouse pointer till the size okay see and release the mouse button this is how we can draw straight line with the help of line tool now the next shape tool is the curve tool okay children see here is the curve tool this okay now if you want to draw this curve line in your drawing area then you have to click on it like this now bring the mouse pointer here now press the left mouse button and drag first it will draw the straight line okay now what you have to do you have to click on it and drag it to left or, or to right or to the left side okay on whichever direction you want to draw the curve you can uh, drag the drag the line like this you have to press the see this is how you can draw the curve line okay see now release the mouse button okay again i'll show you click on the curve tool then press the left button and then first it will draw the straight line and then click on the line and drag okay 
press on the left key and drag it to the direction on which you want to draw the curve okay and release the mouse button see this is how the curve lines draw in your drawing area okay now the next type of tool is oval tool okay now this is the oval tool click on it bring the mouse pointer in the drawing area press the left mouse button and drag the mouse till the size you want to draw the curve if you want to draw the oval you can draw the oval like this if you want to draw a circle you can draw a circle like this okay and release the mouse button again click on the oval tool and left button press the left key mouse button and then see i have drawn one circle and one oval with the help of oval tool so you can draw any oval or any circle shape of any size with the help of this oval tool okay children now next come rectangle tool see children this is the rectangle tool okay click on it bring the mouse pointer in the drawing area press the left key button mouse button and draw the square or a rectangle with the help of the rectangle tool see i have drawn a rectangle now if i want to draw a square again i have to click on the rectangle tool bring the mouse pointer here let press the left key and drag the mouse to the size you want to draw the square see i have drawn the curve also okay children now you will use this rectangle tool to draw different uh, to draw the rectangles or squares of different sizes so now next comes diamond tool click on it mouse bring the mouse pointer and draw a diamond like this diamond shape like this okay so this is how we can draw any diamond shape like this. See, click on the shape you want to draw and see. See children, with the help of a diamond tool, we can draw uh, different diamond shapes in the drawing area. Okay. Next topic is control buttons. Okay, in our uh, computer window, three control buttons are present. Okay, what are they? Minimize button, maximize or restore button, close button. So, three control buttons are present. Minimize button, maximize or restore button and close button. And now I'll show you that how these control buttons work. Okay. So, children. These are the three control buttons, okay? Minimize button, restore button and close button, okay? Now, as you can see that the uh, screen is on its full size, okay? So, here, no maximize button is there, okay? Instead of maximize, restore button is there because the screen is already in its maximum size, okay? Now, now if I press this minimize key, minimize button, okay? See, it will bring the icon, the paint window to the taskbar. This is the taskbar, children. Okay, this is the bottom horizontal bar is the taskbar. Okay, this is the whole, this hole is the taskbar. Okay, and minimize button brings down the active window to the taskbar. Now, if I want to go to that window again, I have to click on the icon on the taskbar. See, okay, so minimize button this minimize button brings down the window to the taskbar okay children now next comes restore button okay if i click on it see it will uh, minimize the size little bit okay it will not bring the uh, paint window to the taskbar taskbar but it will minimize to uh, minimize the window to a limit okay so now you can see the active window is minimized to a limit now here comes the maximize button okay so now children if i click on the maximize button it will again bring the active window to its fullest original size okay 
रिस्टोर बटन रिड्यूसेस द साइज ओके एंड मैक्सिमाइज बटन सी नाउ द रिस्टोर बटन विल चेंज टू मैक्सिमाइज बटन इफ आई क्लिक ऑन मैक्सिमाइज बटन इट विल इंक्रीज द साइज ऑफ द विंडो ओके इफ आई प्रेस दिस क्लोज बटन सी इट विल क्लोज द विंडो ओके नो अगेन इफ आई वॉन्ट टू ड्रॉ आई हैव टू क्लिक ऑन द पर्टिकुलर आईकन ओके सो अ क्लोज बटन क्लोज डाउन द एक्टिव विंडो See children, I have drawn this drawing on the uh, drawing area. Okay. Now children, if I want to save my drawing, okay, if I want to save this drawing for future use, I have to follow some steps. What I have to do? First step is I have to click on the file button. Okay. Now click on save as option. See, it will a uh, the save as dialog box will appear okay here it will ask you this text box it will ask you the name if you where you, what name you want to keep uh, for your file okay so first of all select the place where you want to save your drawing suppose i want to save my drawing on the desktop so i will click on desktop here okay and now i will come to the file name box this is the file name box okay children now here i have to type the name of my file suppose i want to type this name okay and i have typed the name then click on save see children the name the name of my file has appeared on the at the top of the title bar see okay topic is closing your drawing how you can close the drawing you can close the drawing by clicking on the close button see your drawing is closed okay now if i want to open the drawing i have to what i have to do i have to click on the paint button okay now if i want to open the uh, existing uh, drawing suppose i have drawn a uh, something on uh, i have saved my file like minakshi if i want to open that file again how would i open it i have to click on this button this is the file button okay now here comes the open option click on open option now i have saved the uh, drawing on desktop so i have to click on the desktop and now i have to type the file name okay you can type the file name also and also you can select with this scroll bar okay you can select the file okay from here this is the file click on it and click on the open button see my file has opened okay children so this is how i can save my drawing i can close the drawing and i can also open the existing file or existing drawing in paint okay children so now we are done with this chapter now read the chapter watch the video very carefully and do the question answers which will be given to you okay children we will be meeting soon in the next video till then stay safe and stay home